option not being on the table anymore. Little scary for Goro. Absolutely. Nice. Good jump there. Thank you, stream. So I was watching in prep for this tourney. There are a ton of benefits uh, to streaming as a competitor in like this current environment. Like, especially if you win, if you win a fighting game tournament and you like already have like a content creation or even like a streaming presence, like that will benefit your brand immensely. Cause like you win a tournament, people will like immediately go to your stream afterwards and they will like follow you in mass. Like that's what happened with, with Hotashi when he won Evo. He won Evo, they raided his stream immediately afterwards. He got a huge influx of viewers. If you're like a new age fighting game player, and like you, you start like making like some top placements oh, at events and stuff. Definitely stream. There's a here's a immense amount of benefits to that. I mention this all the time. All the top streamers of the past few years are are just the top esports players. Yeah, like in, in fighting games especially, there's a huge correlation. This is a pretty good ESN that's gonna kill. I feel like the culture around like top streamers in the FGC is like a little bit different, like the culture for top streamers in like other categories. In the FGC, there's like a greater emphasis on like. Yeah, who's like the most Joel winningest player it's like yeah you, you can play you, you can play it off and be entertaining and lose all the time but i feel like we in the FTC place like a lot of emphasis on like who's winning the most and winning the most consistently who's like flexing on the most people and we tend to keep watching those people like we see people on a losing streak we, we dip unless they're unless they're like someone that we like we we know we know is like good for it if you're like a new person tuning into like a fighting game streamer and they like start up on a losing streak you might like leave and go off and like check out someone else i feel like being entertaining isn't something isn't just enough to be a top fighting game streamer like you also have to be, you also have to be pretty good i also feel like being a top player like allows you to get away with like a little bit more you can also be like a like a top player and like not have like a huge amount of production quality put into your streams and that's okay because people just want to see you play they're, they're there for the games i never liked streaming fighting games not sure why exactly i've never been a fan of streaming rank grinding or whatever outside of tournaments obviously yeah like like it's one of those like don't hate the player hate the game sort of things where it's just like i hated the game of like everyone just streaming their rank sessions like that's like the culture that like really burned me out of streaming sf5 on like a regular basis it's like either you're streaming your rank sessions or you're streaming a tournament other than that you don't get viewers for sf5 for sam show you can get away with doing open lobbies and i love doing open lobbies because that means i get to like chat with you guys like how i'm doing right now like like we have like we have a match on we have a match on screen that we're watching uh occasionally i'll be up and i'll be playing against you guys and get a couple wins here and there and then i go back to talking with you guys in, in the chat like i love that that was my favorite part of streaming sam show just like i get that interaction with people like the, the big meta for like most other fighters Games Timer, just like you, you just stream ranked, yeah, it's you just stream the grind, or you just stream tournaments. I, I wish there was like a little bit more variety in um yeah, in Twitch content in that regard in terms of like what did well, but that's what people respond to. So I I I can't I can't hate I can't hate the people that are doing it. I just you can only just like hate the game. I think the problem with fighting games is that it's hard to interact with chat during gameplay as opposed to single player games. It's hard to like focus on the chat and focus on the game at the exact same time. Like you can only like chat to people like in between rounds or something. It's like really difficult to like play and talk at the exact same time. Yeah, you, you have to like strike a balance with it. Like I definitely can't look at Twitch chat when I'm in the middle of like a tournament run. Like that, that that's an absolute no. I completely ignore the chat whenever I'm like in the middle of a tournament. And I and that's and that's definitely justifiable. I've even heard it said that like if you're like comment if you're commentating a major even, uh, then don't look at the chat. It's just it's just better to not have that influence at like a tournament setting. This is getting scary close. Oh my god. That's a full on read. And now at this point, doesn't matter the Baron's in him that much of a deficit. He has just a major advantage here. Oh Oh my god. Oh no! Oh that was incredible Nick actually baited the East End. <laughs> oh no <laughs> Baron no I want to die <laughs> Baron no fantastic play emotions took over there but oh God very good use but yeah but yeah Sean I totally agree with you about those people just like showing up in your chat sometimes just to get clips I have people like that show up whenever I'm tre when I'm streaming Pokemon Showdown too, but you, you definitely do get people like that. I think there are just people like that in like every community, especially with like, especially like one v one games. Like you're always gonna get people like that. For sure. And now one game apiece.